first of all, thank you very much for, for attending. I, I greatly um, appreciate, I, I can see a lot of faces here that um, have supported me throughout my whole career. And these, la these, last, four, these last four months have been um, very difficult for me. I am announcing my retirement because I've been doing this since since I was five years old and this is the love of my life. Boxing is my passion. Boxing is what I was born to do. And when I can't do it anymore, when I can't compete at the highest level, it's, it's, it's not fair. It's not fair to me, it's not fair to, to the fans, it's not fair to nobody. And I've come to the conclusion that it's over. It's over inside the ring for me. And my decision was based on on a lot. Um, now I understand why athletes have such a tough time retiring from something that you feel so passionate about, from, from your sport that you're always thinking you can try one more time. You're always thinking you don't want to let nobody down. But this decision was based on making sure, first of all, that I do not disappoint anyone when I step inside the ring, when I do not disappoint myself, and I make sure that I can watch my kids grow up, I can make sure that I have a a life where I can continue involved and help the sport of boxing. And this was a decision that I was going back and forth with. Well, I can, I can do this one more time. I was asking myself. I can still train hard and I can still compete. But when you're an athlete that has competed on, on the highest level for a lot of years, it's not fair. It's not fair to step inside the ring and not give my best. Because every time, every time I stepped inside the ring, I, I gave it my best. And, and when your body doesn't respond, there's nothing you can do about it. And you have to live with yourself for the rest of your life, knowing that I'm never ever gonna compete again. It's a tough decision. It is a very, very difficult decision. But now I'm looking forward to the future of boxing, looking forward to working, continuing to work with the school, and the hospital, and continuing to be the best I can be outside the ring. Because I feel that there's a legacy that I can leave outside the ring. And that to me is just as important as accomplishing everything I've accomplished inside the ring. I want to thank two people that have been there for me, two people who have made me understand and made me realize what life is all about. I want to thank my wife for supporting me, for being there for me, for making me understand what's really important. And I love you. Thank you. I want to thank Richard 
made me realize and understand that there is life after boxing. He's made me realize that when an athlete retires, it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the road. And through his example, he's a person I can truly say, when I grow up, I want to be like you. So thank you, Richard. And especially my father, because I remember the times when he would take me to the gym and he never gave up on me. We've lived some tough moments inside the ring. We've been through everything, but my father was always there for me. And we don't have enough time for me to express myself, how much I appreciate that and how much I love him for that. So thank you, Father, for always being there for me and thank you for, for pushing me as hard as you can. So, wow. I promise to myself, I promise to my family, and I promise to everyone that this is it. This is the end of the road for me inside the ring. So thank you very much for listening me out and attending this press conference. Thank you.